Well, it has been a minute since I've done a tutorial with Microsoft Excel, but here we are. We're going to, I hope to do a series of these on the topic of Moneyball and analytics in sports. So this would be kind of the introduction. And we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem of baseball, which is created by Bill James. And basically it's the premise that you can calculate a team's success or project how many wins they're going to have uh, by taking into account only the runs scored and the runs against for the team. So let's put together a little example here for this first one. And this first example, we're going to compare it to see how it would work with past results, just to see how accurate it is. So I'm going to use these stats from the 2021 Major League Baseball season and uh, the, the Major League Baseball um, team statistics from this baseball reference website. So I'm using, you can get these anywhere. You can get them from MLB.com or ESPN.com. But I like the features of this because I can start here with team standard of batting. This is all the teams and all of their different stats for an entire season. Like I said, with the Pythagorean theorem of baseball, we don't need all these stats. But I still don't want to take the time to type all of those things out. So if I go here to share and export, get as Excel workbook, click on that to open it up. So I'll have a couple of different Excel spreadsheets going on here. and. I get a little message here. I'm gonna click yes. I don't think they're gonna steal my identity. And I'll select up here, enable editing. And we can just start off here um, choosing these teams. I'm just gonna put this over here so we have the teams there on the far left hand side. I can make that a little bit wider to fit all those in there and the next thing I want to do is I want to find the amount of runs that the teams have scored so I'm going to select this information here paste it into this column. I'm going to change it just from runs uh, to runs scored. And then up here I'm going to change this heading to team just to make it a little more readable, easier to use. All right, and that's what we need for the first part. Uh, for the second part, going back here to the website, as we scroll down, we have the pitching. So same thing share and export and get as Excel workbook. And it's going to download and I'll click yes again. It's going to open it up. Click enable for editing and for here I want to find the runs again. So I'll select this column here I'm not going to worry about the league average, just the, going with the teams. Control C and Control V. And if I put this up here and go R A for runs allowed, then we have those statistics for that. I think that's good. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to have a title in here that says, um, I'm just copying this so it keeps the same formatting. And I'm going to roll with uh, projected wins. It's a little bit wider here. And the next one over, I'm going to go with 
with the actual wings. So that way we can compare those uh, results. Back. So we have projected wins, actual wins, and then we want to find the. Uh, we can go with like the last column here. This will be the difference. All right. So here we go. Uh, we do have. What's this underneath the Washington Nationals here? Oh, so I did accidentally include the league average there, so let me clean that up. There we go. So we have our teams here already alphabetized for us. We have the teams run scored, runs against. Okay, so to find the projected wins, we will use that theory of the Pythagorean theorem of baseball, and basically you take the runs scored squared divided by or over um, the runs scored squared plus the runs allowed squared. All right, so I'm going to type it in here for us. We can go equals and B2. And I'll put in the caret and the 2 after that. So it's B2 squared. In other words, the, the runs scored squared right there. Then I'm going to put my slash for my divided by sign. It's like a, like a fraction. And then I'm going to put in some parentheses. And in those parentheses, I'm going to go B2 caret squared plus... C2 carat sign squared. And if I enter that in there, that's going to give me a decimal. I want to actually know how many wins it is. So what I can do after that is in the formula, I can add a star to multiply. I'm going to multiply it by 162 for the 162 game regular season. I'll press enter and use our nice little fill handle here drag it all the way down to the bottom and this looks pretty good um, the decimals on there because we're talking about wins I'm okay with it rounding so with all of these numbers selected I'll go up here to the number section in the home tab and I'm gonna select decrease decimal I'm going to keep on clicking on that until I just have the regular numbers there. The values still hold true. It's only showing the rounded results. All right, so those are the projected wins. Now for the actual wins, we can look back over here. And if we find the, I think it was this one here that had, yep, our pitching. We have... Our wins and losses included here also so I'll select our wins and head over here to my e column of the actual wins and paste that there and we have those results included so that looks nice and now I can just worry about my spreadsheet that I have here so what we can do for this section is we want to find the difference between the projection and the actual win total. Uh, so normally if I was just going to subtract the two, I would take equals D2 minus E2. But because some of these are going to be positive numbers, some of them, of them are going to be negative numbers, uh, we're going to do an absolute value. So we'll go equals ABS. And then we'll put in parentheses D2 minus E2 and press enter. And we'll drag this all the way down. And for this column two, uh, because we're just finding out the difference in win total, I will select the decrease decimal 
for this value also, all right? Um, just to give that kind of rounded result right there. All right, so these are the results as we can see some of them, um, like the Orioles, it predicted it spot on. Some of them, a lot of these are one to three. We see the that Seattle right here, 15 games difference, 15 less. So really, according to the results, underperformed. Uh, let's look here and see what the total average is for this differential. So let's go equals average. Select that and we will drag down through the F column here. Select all those teams and press enter. And so the average differential is four. There we have it. That is the Pythagorean theorem of baseball. Playing around with the numbers with past results. Probably in the near future, I would like to make a video of how to use this same formula to predict how a team is going to do uh, in an upcoming season. Uh, you can look at these. You can Google search Pythagorean Theorem on, on the internet. They have made some modifications to the formula over the years and made a few slight changes. We're just going with the OG method right here. And really, I'm kind of impressed that with the 2000... 21 season that it was be able to it was able to within four predict how many games a team would win you know with within four out of a 162 game season that's pretty cool to me so hopefully this inspires you to go around and play with some different stats and and to kind of take a look at the individual teams like I'll do I'll be doing and uh, kind of play around with it. And I'd be curious to hear what your thoughts are on this. Kind of fun. Baseball season is, is in early season right now. So a lot of cool things going on with that. And I think it's kind of fun to, to look at the stats throughout the year and to find different ways to play with the numbers and see how those teams are going to do. Thanks again for watching. We will catch you on the next tutorial video.